In this video, I will talk about moment of inertia. of a non uniform disk okay so moment of inertia of a non uniform disk so suppose that we have a disk let's say this is our disk and its aerial mass density sigma is given as sigma naught x square upon r square where r is the constant and radius of the disk and sigma naught is a constant so aerial mass density is changing with x which is from the center of the disk so now if i want to calculate its moment of inertia about a axis which is perpendicular to the surface and passing through the center of mass this is center of mass then how to calculate the moment of inertia so we have to consider a small ring at a distance x that ring has a very small thickness of dx so for a small ring of thickness dx we can consider we can write a small moment of inertia di is equal to dm into x square so basically for a ring moment of inertia is mr square so mass of this ring we are assuming this is dm so that would be given as x dm into x square now our task is to calculate the value of dm so dm would be equal to sigma into da so first of all what is the value of da so da will be is equal to 2 pi x this is the parameter into dx right and sigma is sigma not x square upon r square and da and obviously we can substitute the values of da 2 pi x dx that means this will become 2 pi x cube sigma not dx upon r square perfect so now if you wanted to calculate the value of i total moment of inertia that would be integral of di integration of di will be dm dm is 2 pi x cube sigma not upon r square into x square and obviously limits will be vary from 0 to obviously up to x so now we have to find out the value of this integration so 2 pi is constant which can be taken as outside r square is outside sigma not is a constant which is also outside it will be having just x square so this is x square plus uh, cube so that would be simply x to the power 5 dx right so this is going to be 2 pi sigma not upon r square this is 1 upon 6 x to the power 6 limits 0 to r so that is going to be how much or that is going to be 2 pi sigma not upon r square into 1 upon 6 into r to the power 6 so this is r4 and this is Three, so the basically the value of moment of inertia is i is equal to pi sigma naught r to the power four upon this is three. 
so this is the this is the, going to be the value of moment of inertia now if you wanted to convert this moment of inertia in terms of mass then mass can be written as integral dm integral dm can be written as sigma da and then we can substitute the values of sigma into da so obviously sigma da is going to be we already calculated that is sigma naught into x square upon r square into da that means this was 2 pi 2 into pi directly we can substitute this whole value right so 2 pi x cube sigma naught upon r square into dx and of course limits will be from 0 to r so 2 pi sigma naught upon r square is outside integration 0 to r x cube dx and then 2 pi sigma naught upon r square into this will become 1 upon 4 and x to the power 4 and x to the power 4 will become r to the power 4 so this is cancelled out this is r square this is 2 so pi sigma naught into r square by 2 this is the value of mass so now we can replace here sigma naught is equal to 2m upon pi r square so basically i can substitute the value of sigma naught so pi by 3 into r to the power 4 instead of sigma naught this is 2m upon pi r square so here we go this is cancelled out r square pi and pi are cancelled out so i will be is equal to 2 by 3 m into r square so have a look the answer of a non-uniform disk is 2 by 3 m r square if this disk was of uniform mass then i would be m r square by 2 so you can clearly see a lot of deviation is present so i'm not telling you to remember uh, this relation or remember this formula or answer but you have to remember the process how did i get the value because this question can be asked in your exam and then it would be a little bit tricky question for the neat level okay so you should be able to do it fine yeah